An activist and municipal councillor for a Hungarian opposition party disrupted a news conference in Strasbourg, France on Tuesday as Prime Minister Viktor Orban was laying out his plans for Hungary's six-month presidency of the European Union. The activist, Martin Gajakicski, interrupted Orban as he was speaking about his opposition to immigration, running toward the podium where Orban sat and throwing a stack of what appeared to be banknotes at the Prime Minister. How much did you sell out the country for? How much did you sell out the country for Mr. Prime Minister? Gajakicski yelled. He sold out to Putin, he sold out to Xi Jinping. The disruption came as Orban was set to address the European Parliament on Wednesday during Hungary's six-month rotating presidency of the bloc. His government has long been at odds with the EU over what it sees as his curtailing of democratic rights, and has increasingly come under fire for his close relations with autocracies like Russia and China. Gaia Kiksky, the activist, who was taken to the ground by a security guard and led out of the room, is a member of Hungary's Democratic Coalition Party and a local council member in a Budapest suburb. Europa. Talán a magyar politikai kultúrához egy mondatnyi magyarázat a szükséges itt, amikor a, a magyar egy direkt nyelv, és a kommunikáció is meglehetősen durva. De amikor egy magyar politikus azt mondja a másiknak, hogy gazember, az a mi kultúránkban annyit jelent, hogy nem értek önnel egyet. A Russian court on Monday sentenced a 72-year-old American to nearly seven years in prison for fighting as a mercenary in Ukraine. Prosecutors said Stephen Hubbard signed a contract with the Ukrainian military after Russia sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022 and he fought alongside them until being captured two months later. He was sentenced to six years and ten months in a general security prison. Prosecutors had called for a sentence of seven years in a maximum security prison. Hubbard, from the state of Michigan, is the first American known to have been convicted for fighting as a mercenary in the Ukrainian conflict. The charges carried a potential sentence of 15 years, but prosecutors asked that his age be taken into account and that he had admitted guilt, Russian news reports said. Arrests of Americans have become increasingly common in Russia in recent years. Concern has risen that Russia could be targeting U.S. nationals for arrest to use later as bargaining chips in talks to bring back Russians convicted of crimes in the U.S. and Europe. The U.S. and Russia in August completed their largest prisoner swap in post-Soviet history, a deal involving 24 people, many months of negotiations and concessions from other European countries, which released Russians in their custody as part of the exchange. Several U.S. citizens remain behind bars in Russia following the swap.
нам пожелают всегда женщина в красной куртке.